the cobbled streets of New Haven hummed with a boisterous energy that Snatch, the troll woman thief, found oddly comforting. She'd navigated the labyrinthine alleys of a dozen cities, each with its own peculiar rhythm, each with its own wealthy inhabitants ripe for the plucking. Her pockets were lined with gold, silver, and gems, enough to keep her comfortable for months. But Snatch, like a restless spirit, was always moving, always seeking new challenges, new opportunities. With a practiced ease, she blended into the bustling crowds, her thick, brown clothes expertly concealing a patch of pilfered jewels. She relished the thrill of the heist, the quick flash of a hand, the subtle tug of a necklace, and the bewildered faces of her victims. It was a game, a dance, a constant exercise in outsmarting the city guard, a game she always seemed to win until she arrived in New Haven. As she ambled through the market square, a burst of laughter escaped her lips. A street performer, dressed as a flamboyant jester, was recounting the ludicrous tale of a talking pig, his voice wavering between a croak and a squeak. The crowd roared with laughter, a wave of mirth that washed over Snatch, leaving her feeling light and carefree. The laughter died in her throat as her gaze fell on a wanted poster plastered on a nearby wall. A crudely drawn sketch depicted her, her trollish features exaggerated, her eyes narrowed, a sly smirk etched on her lips. A bounty was offered for her capture, her name scrawled beneath in bold letters, Snatch, the Shadow Thief. Panic flooded her veins. She had been careless, overconfident. The city guard, it seemed, were on her trail. She ducked into a narrow alley, her heart pounding in her chest, her breaths coming in ragged gasps. But her escape seemed destined to be short-lived. Hold it right there, Snatch, a voice called out. She whipped around to see two elf women, their faces stern, their eyes narrowed, their hands gripping the hilts of their swords. She recognized them, a pair of city guards from her previous exploits in the bustling city of High Point. They had tracked her all the way to New Haven. The older elf, her silver hair short and neatly cropped, exudes an aura of quiet wisdom and experience. Her younger counterpart, with auburn hair tied in a messy bun, radiates a fiery spirit. Snatch tried to protest, to plead her case, you've got the wrong troll, Snatch spat, her voice laced with defiance. I'm a harmless traveler, just passing through. But the elf women, hardened by years of chasing down criminal scum, weren't buying it. They apprehended her with practiced ease, their movements swift and precise, their strength surprisingly formidable. They tied her hands behind her back and gagged her with a strip of rough cloth, effectively stifling her protests. The journey back to High Point was fraught with tension. As night descended, they were forced to camp in a dense, moonlit forest. The air crackled with unspoken threats, the rustling leaves whispering tales of lurking danger. Snatch hoped it would be her chance to escape, but the elf guards were vigilant and kept her tied up and gagged. The older elf guard slept, while the younger one kept watch. As the hours wear on, Snatch finds herself unable to sleep, her mind heavy with worry and regret. She knows her days of carefree thievery are likely over, and the thought of a life behind bars is almost too much to bear. Suddenly, Snatch felt a light tap on her back. She turned to see a goblin girl sneaking in the shadows. The goblin whispered to Snatch, promising to help her escape if she shared half of the profits from her stolen goods. Snatch, desperate and with nothing to lose, nodded her head, a silent agreement formed between the two unlikely allies. The goblin girl pulled out a dirty cloth and poured a viscous, green liquid onto it. She sneaked up behind the younger elf guard, her movements swift and silent, and pressed the cloth over the woman's mouth and nose. The elf tried to warn her companion, but the goblin girl's hand muffled any sound she made. Within moments, the elf succumbed to the potion's effects, her eyelids fluttered and soon closed, as she falled into a deep sleep. 
the goblin girl then quietly untied Snatch, and the two of them snuck out into the shadows of the forest. Snatch was filled with a sense of relief, gratitude, and excitement as she was finally free from her captors. The goblin girl had saved her, and now they would travel together, continuing Snatch's life of thievery, but with a new partner in crime. The troll woman thief and her goblin accomplice set off into the night, ready to pickpocket their way to a better life, leaving the elf guards and their city behind.